Chole is a very common recipe which is normally given in a tiffin and it's loved by everybody. But every household has its own recipe and believe me, every recipe is tasty. So today how this aloo chole is done in my house will be done here. So let's see how it's done. To begin with, we are not using a chola masala here. So I'm just going to dry roast some cumin and this is anar dana, that's pomegranate seeds. It has a nice flavor and a different taste as you taste it. So this is a key ingredient normally in the chola mixture. Just dry roast it for a minute or so till the aroma is lifted from it. Once you start getting the aroma, it's done. So just shut the gas and we'll coarsely ground it to a powder. So take a mixy jar. So we have ground the anad dana and the cumin lightly roasted into a coarse powder. We'll require it later in the recipe, so let's keep it aside. You can always grind this and keep it the previous day or keep it in a nice airtight container. It stays for about 5-6 days. In the same pan, we have some boiled potatoes and we have cut them into cubes. We'll just, just shallow fry them and give them some colour and crispness to it. So take some oil. The oil has gone hot and we have the cubes of the boiled potato. So just add them in the oil. Shallow fry the potatoes till they get a little colour and crispness to it. It will take about 2 minutes, you can do this on high flame. The potatoes have got a lovely golden brown colour. So let's take them aside in a bowl. Take a pan. Add oil, add the cumin seeds, add the ginger garlic paste, saute, add the green chilies, saute. As I said, it's a very quick fix recipe, not uh, much of things going inside other than powdered masalas. So once this gets sauteed, let's start adding the powdered masala, the chilli powder, cumin powder, the coriander powder, the amchur powder. After we have added the powdered masala, stir it for a minute. We have the stalk from the chickpeas, add that. Mix in and let this come to a boil. As the masala is coming to a boil, let me just explain to you how the stock is taken out and how the chickpeas are boiled. All you have to do is you have to soak chickpeas for about six to seven hours. Then when you put them for boiling in a pressure cooker, you make a bundle of tea leaves and amla, tie it in a muslin cloth and immerse it in, along with the chickpeas and some water. You cook it under pressure for about 20 minutes or you cook them till five to six whistles are given out. So you get the chickpeas which are nice and soft like this. After the chickpeas are boiled, you reserve the stalk by straining them and the chickpeas keep it aside. So now the masalas come to a boil as you can see. At this stage, we add the boiled chickpeas to it. Mix it well. Let's add salt. Mix well. At this stage, add the fried potatoes. The coarsely ground 
Make sure of anar dana and cumin seeds. And some garam masala. Mix well. Add some stock. It's not a very liquidy preparation, so adjust the stock accordingly because you're going to take it in a tiffin so we don't want it very messy. Let it cook for about two to three minutes. As the chola and the aloo is cooking, add the diced tomatoes to it. Mix the tomatoes and let them go soft. So cook them for about five to six minutes. The aloo chola is ready as you can see after adding the tomatoes, we have adjusted it with the stock and allowed it to cook for about five minutes. It's all come together very nicely and the consistency is good to take it in the tiffin. So the aloo chola is taken the tiffin. I'm taking it with some bread, but you can always take it with some puri if you want or a paratha, anything of your choice. But pao becomes really handy and it's a quick fix recipe because you can always boil the chickpeas the previous night and fry the potatoes the previous night and keep. It's just a powdered masala recipe, so definitely make it. If you have liked it, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with friends and family.